here we have the gin berries. Hey guys, these little pink fruits are called gin berries, and yes, they have a sweet taste. Kind of like a gin and tonic in a berry form. They're also called orange berry because, well, it's a type of citrus. And they're native to Southeast Asia, such as south of China, India, Thailand, Malaysia, all the way to the Philippine Islands. It's a pretty small tree that grows only up to 15 feet tall. And um, if you can grow oranges outdoor, you can definitely grow these outdoor too. You just got to keep them, uh, keep it in a sunny spot with well-drained soil. They really don't take much to grow. Or if you're in a colder region, you can keep it indoor like some citrus. I know people have had success growing citrus in the house. Just keep it in the bright lit room. So precious looking. Mmm mildly sweet with that tonic flavor inside. Nice big old seed in there for this tiny little berry. And this is a really tiny tree. It's very slow growing so far. This is like a, I don't know, four or five year old tree. But it's really neat because it flowers and it fruits pretty much most of the year. These are a really great substitute for tonic water. Um, the natural ones are actually really hard to come by because they generally have corn syrup added in there. So you can actually make your own just with some carbonated mineral water and you add some of these in and if you drink alcohol you can just add some gin and you got yourself some nice gin and tonic. Now research has shown that you can also use the leaves and the roots to treat some health problems. For example, you can make a paste with the leaves and mix it with ginger to apply on eczema. So if I end up using other parts of this tree, I'll definitely do an update for you. Until then, I want to say thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!